Hi, my name is Ray Fazio, and today I'm going to show you how to throw a punch on the Boxmaster. Okay, so make sure before using the box master that you've got a wrap on and a protective glove. Now you can use either bag mitts or I, I choose to use 10 ounce gloves. And Alyssa's got, what do you got on? 16 ounce gloves. Okay, so we're about to start here, but obviously Alyssa's a different height to me. So I'm gonna show you how quick and easy we can adjust the box mask. So at the rear of the machine, there's three loosening handles. There's one either side and one there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen them off, loosen the back off. We're gonna pull the safety pin out, turn it, and then we're gonna slide it just down to the next one and the, the little safety pin will find its own home. Tighten them up like so. Couple of tightens there and then we're right to go. So what Okay, the first thing we're going to do is learn how to stand. We're going to get that boxing stance happening. So what we do is we're going to, once the, the box master is adjusted to our height, we put our hands out, fingertips on numbers one and two, feet as wide as 10, 11. It's very important to have a nice broad stance. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to drop my right foot back about the length of my foot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean my body weight, very important. I'm going to lean back 60% on the back leg, 40 on the front. Okay, so lean back a little and we're gonna elevate that back heel. So the heel of my right foot has to come off the floor and I rest that weight on the ball of my, of my right foot like so. And from that position there, I can push off through my back leg, through my shoulders and into whatever punch that I need to throw. Okay, so the first punch we're going to learn today is the left jab. Okay, so what we're gonna do is once the box master's adjusted to the right height, we then put our hands out so our fingertips are touching one and two, our feet as wide as 10 and 11, and that'll give us the correct distance. Obviously, if you're taller, the unit's gonna be higher and you're gonna be standing further back, and if you're shorter, obviously you're gonna be closer. Okay, so me, hands out like so, legs as wide as 10 and 11. Now, if I'm right-handed, I'm called an orthodox fighter, so I will take a half a step forward with my left foot and a little bit back with my right and so forth. If I'm left-handed, I'm called a southpaw, so I'll shape up the other way. Boxmaster accommodates for any style of fighter because it basically mirrors itself. Okay, so being an orthodox, I've got my hands out, legs apart, left leg forward, bending your knees. Now the left jab, when we throw the left jab, we throw it from the side of our chin out to number one, and then it comes back, it retracts back. We go out and back. But also when we throw the jab, our torso, turns a little like so and we bend our left knee so watching me okay bang and then back hand back to the side of the chin we roll over so when the punch comes out it rolls over like so chin against the shoulder okay so boom with a jab and back and back and back and back and then to set our client up what we do is the best thing to do is get them to put their left foot directly where yours is move off and then put their right foot where yours is and that'll make your job a lot easier as a trainer Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to throw a straight right hand on number two, okay? So again, hands out, feet nice and wide, getting your boxing stance, and from the right-hand side of the chin, we throw the right hand and we roll it over to number two like so. And again, boom, pivot that back foot, lifting that back heel off the floor, rolling over like so, okay? Now this is gonna come on. Put your right foot behind mine. Put your left foot in there, elbows in and twisting the torso. Very good, head down and back, yep. Yep, very good. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to throw a left and right hook. Okay, so obviously we're in front of the unit, hands up, and with a left hook from the side of the chin, we come around and hit target number three. As we come around, like so, our head's tilted, our fist, elbow, and shoulder, like before, is all nice and level, like so. So we throw the hook, and then back to there. There's your left hook, left hook. Now your feet, you can leave your feet where they are and you can just pivot your left foot, okay? You can pivot that left foot or you can take a small step and slide as you come around that left hook. So there's your left hook, and then back there, and back there. If you're having problems landing any of these hooks, all you do is just move your body three inches off to the side and you might land it a bit easier. I don't have that problem. Okay, and the right hook, Obviously, again, right hook number four, around like so, left hand alongside the chin, and as we come around like so, boom, there's your right hook, boom. Okay, so there's your right hook, there's your left hook. There's your right hook, there's your left hook, right hook, 
Left hook. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to show Alyssa how to throw the left and right uppercut. So our left uppercut on the box master is number six and our right is number five. So what we're going to do is feet nice and wide, hands up, like those short hooks. Whenever we're throwing to the side, we dip our body, our right shoulder off to that side. And here comes it. So we, we, we come from a crouch position and the left uppercut comes from under the chin and up like so. And hand back to the face. So your hand comes back under your chin once you've finished. We don't drop it away. We come up and then back there. So the body turns like so. Whoop, and we bounce back up to the chin. There's the right. There's the left. There's the right. There's the left. Notice how I roll left. I roll right. Right. Left. Right. Left. Okay. Alyssa, in you come. Right foot under my right foot. Left foot under my left foot. Again, this foot positioning is only because when you're teaching someone, it's going to make it really easy for them from the, from the get-go and easy for you as a client, as a trainer. Nice. And if you notice the shape of that punch is like a hook, it just comes in on a different angle. Very good. Rolling the shoulders left, rolling right. Up under the punch. Very good. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to throw your short hooks on the inside, numbers eight and number seven, okay? So this can be used as a weave point. So what we're going to do is when we're in close like this, okay, hands up, we're going to weave and come around, and there's your hook, number eight. So there's a short, short left hook on the inside. We can weave back the other side, and a short right hook on number seven. So weave, there's your hook. Now when you throw a short hook on the inside, you're crouching down, you're squatting, you're half squatting, but your fist, elbow, shoulder must remain horizontal, all nice and level, okay? We don't want to be trying to throw short hooks on the inside like so. So we, we get our body over to that corner of the, of the unit, we turn our right shoulder away, hands up, and we throw that hook. The hook comes around like so. If we go back around the other side, there's your hook on the other side. So short hook number eight, short hook number seven, you've got your two hooks upstairs. Go. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to rips to the body. Now rips to the body, are the same shape punches, uppercuts and hooks. They just come in on a different angle. Now, because we're ripping to the body and the, and the targets are out to the sides, what we need to do, we don't want to stand in front of the unit and try to get out there like so. What we do is, because when we box, we move around, okay? We're going to have our left leg in front of the box master post because I'm working the right-hand side. I'm throwing a left rip to the body, number 11. So my left leg's in front of the post. My right leg's nice and wide, and the target is about in the middle of where I am. But really important, you have to be far back enough so that you can drop your body into that area without hitting everything. There's no good standing like this if I'm in here because I can't get in there properly. So I need to be back from the unit, okay, dropping down, and then from this angle here, I turn my right shoulder towards so I can load that rip up, and I come in like so. So from the side of the chin, to the body. Into the rip to the body, like so. Now I'm going to throw a right rip to the body. Again, I'm going to move my body across. My left leg always stays in front because I'm right-handed, but I adapt the same principles. My right leg now is in front of the post, but it's behind. The pad is in the middle, and my left leg's wide. And here comes the right. Same thing. Right rip to the body, to the body. So, that, so there you have it. So there you've got your left rip to the body, stepping across. Nice and wide, right to, to the body. Make sure that you leave yourself plenty of room to get down into there. Don't stand up like so and try and throw the shot like that. You have to bend your back and get down there. Your opponent's there, he's leaning that way, and you go in like so. 